you know, playing this game, especially as an American that knows the game of football, but really doesn't grasp individual clubs outside of the area that I watch and and cheer for as a fan. You get emails in the game sometimes that bring things to light and you just sit there and go, wow, this would really be very historic for this real life, right? And that's what it is. We're making history here at DeGroff Shop. Keeping in mind that I'm doing a plus 30 save, which is kind of my, my niche. I, I kind of created it. Uh, 2057, De Graaf Shop is now 103 years old, and this is the first Dutch Cup final in the club's history. They have never even been in a Dutch Cup final. Meanwhile, we're playing Ajax, who have won it 27 times. I mean, this is the Minnesota Twins playing the New York Yankees in the World Series, if they could play each other in the World Series, because they're both American League sides. But I was struggling to come up with a team that really hasn't won anything. But the Twins have won in the 80s or 90s. It's been a while. Kirby Puckett. Uh, but anyway, historical events happening. Ease the pressure. So we got a positive reaction out of them. That's good. A little bit of negative news. Well, some positive and negative. So the positive news, we have qualified for the Champions League next year, Champions Cup. But we lost our last, we've lost two of our last five, sitting fifth in the form table. Feyenoord up top. Heronveen is... Just two points better than us with three wins and two draws. But those draws have equaled more points and have put them top of the table by one point with, I think, three matches left. We've secured our best ever finish. We've reached a cup final. We're still with a shot at the league, but need some help now. And our goal differential is even. Oh, stress, stress. We're playing Ajax today in the cup. Let's get to the kickoff here. We are going to go with Kaiser in goal, Gerver, Dimitrovic, and Kurdov on the back line. I think I'm going to move Gerver into the middle. Cervenka, Momsilovic, Grutunk, and Aaron on the right. Grutunk, uh, Aaron is having to replace uh, DeVos, who is suspended for the next match for accumulation of yellow cards. Vanderhorst in the number 10, and Kernjik and Resnick up top. Oh, my goodness. Come on, boys. Man, that's a huge stadium. I don't know where we're playing at. This is not our stadium. I don't know what stadium we're, we're playing at. I guess I should have looked. But it's a big stadium. It is sold out. A lot of fans here. We're in the blue and white. Ajax in the white and red. Everybody knows that red is for the enemy, the bad guys, the villains. Ooh, come on, pressing, pressing. Oh, they break that easy. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Kurdov tracks back on defense. He gets beaten, though. Oh, good deflection. Cleared out. All right. Oof. Come on, come on. Yeah, last time we played Ajax, they beat us, and we di we dominated them statistically, but they got the win. Crazy. They're playing a similar tactic, a 4-3 instead of a 3-4. So very similar tactic there. Demand more. Long throw. Rutunk heads it out. Serbenka with the one touch. Kernjik 
and I just noticed he takes a crack. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with his, uh, what's he got here? Potential knee injury. Oh goodness, I think I've got to take him off. He's our best striker, but I think I've got to take him off here. I think I've got to go with Vicario. I've got to put him up there. Now he's only showing as a two-star. Wow. He did score a couple of goals, two matches in a row, two goals combined. In Swinger, it's headed in. It's Kurtov, his sixth of the season, and that gives us the one-nil advantage. And I tell you what, we're going to go. I'm going to drop back to cautious here. Just to see if we can get to halftime, we do. We're going to go back up to positive for the second half. Keep it up. And we've got another corner in Swinger. This one goes over. Oh, that would have been just too much to ask for, huh? Come on. Only two on target. Both, both clubs. Encourage them. Come on. No highlights is a good thing. I can live with that. Oh, no. I axe with the highlight. Um, Silovich can't shut him down. Oh, there you go. Dimitrovic clears it, but, oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Up to Vicario. Oh, he is tackled. Resnick is on it, though, and he turns. He puts it in! Resnick, his 13th of the season. Oh, that is huge. I just realized I hadn't, between matches, I moved my microphone. God, I hope y'all could hear that. Oh, now I'm, now I'm, oh, Jesus. Resnick with the goal. Oh, what a finish. Nice placement. Oh, I am so upset. Now I can't, I've got to wait till the end of the match to go back and listen to see if this is ruined. We've got to watch the match, though. Mom Silovich. Grutunk. Vandehorst turned, and it's a goal. It is Aaron. Oh, the young Brazilian in for an injury to DeVos, and he scores, making it 3 0. Oh, my goodness. They are checking for something. Oh, and it's disallowed for an offsides. Really? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had four guys. It looked like we were playing a back four there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we don't do that. All right. Let's make um, let's make some more subs. We're in the 81st minute. We've got tired legs. I could use. Let's bring profit on. Let's bring Jazvich on. That'll leave Grutunk tired in the mid, but that brings on some wingers. Good header out. Momsilovic clears it away. Vamir beats Vicario to the ball, unfortunately. Knocked away by Jazvic. He has paid his wages already with that move. A block and a clearance over the top. Resnick is on to it. Vanderhorst. And it's Vic oh, Vicario! Vicario misses the shot. Oh, it would have been brilliant for him to score. Probably my favorite player of this save, and I'm just crushed that he's not living up to it. And I, I've had that happen in both of our saves. Uh, this one with Vicario and Robert Cernan in the other save. Knock on wood, I think we're okay with the two-goal advantage. Oh, Momsilovich is on it. I'll oh, pick, out, pick out the ball. Vicario, uh, he cannot beat Bernali to the goal ball. It was a nice, nice effort. I'm still sitting here paranoid about the, uh, the audio. Vanderhorst in the box. Laid off, Momsilovic, a couple of cracks, and it's Calvin Grutunk, his second of the season, and there is the final nail in the coffin. That has got to be the winner there, and we have got to be winning our first ever Dutch Cup.
in the Graf Shop Club history. That is so huge. A couple of deflections. Resnick looked like he blinded the keeper there. Oh, what a huge goal. Oh, the boys have played so well today. And we're climbing the podium. Remember with Lester, we didn't get to climb the podium if you were watching that series. For some reason, it glitched out, and we did not get a, a, a podium walk-up. But we're going to get it this time. Only our second piece of silverware that I can remember in either one of my FM21 saves this year. And there it is. Oh, happy day. Happy day. We have got to be ecstatic about that. And of course, if you've been following any FM21 with some people that win silverware, you always get a goalkeeper cartwheel, and that's nice. What a victory. Uh, we have got to be spraying the champagne. Enjoy your success. Oh, oh. And cup glory. Oh, I got another achievement. I got the money, money, money yesterday. Uh, 20, uh, $10 million in earnings. That's with my other save, but I got that. And a top domestic cup. Only 41.8% of all players have won that. So, hey, I'm in uh I'm still in good company there. We win the Dutch Cup 3-0. Kernjik is out 2 to 3 weeks. That's going to be a huge injury. 3 weeks. Ouch. We get 4 million dollars for winning the cup. That's huge. We are on the list finally. Kurdov on fire with a header. With a goal, and I am going to tell him his defensive work. It was great. And people looking at Melvin Gerber, of course, and he has asked to leave. I don't know if we will be able to keep him now, if he's going to be a little more amenable. Uh, Ludinho Vicario gets a, a bonus. And there we go. All right. So the episode is not done yet. Remember, I warned you last time, this is going to be a little bit longer episode. So. I'm going to go and play matches. I don't know when I will be back. But what I'm hoping is that Heronveen will lose some points. The problem that we have here, their run-in was much easier than ours. So they play Utrecht in 11th, Sparta in 12th, and Groningen in 15th. So nobody even in the top half. We get 5th position PSV. Fourth position, AZ, and 13th, uh, Fortuna Sattard, who don't forget, it won that long ago. They owned us. So we've got two really hard matches. Uh, with the loss of Kernjik, I think we can kiss the league goodbye, if I'm being honest. But let's go play these, and we'll check out We'll check out highlights and you know let you guys kind of see each match. So we'll have we'll have uh, three sets of highlights here. So uh, sit tight. Let me get these done, and uh, we'll be back for highlights as we play the game and see where we sit after each one. A couple of Dutch Cup records have fallen. Jazvic uh, has six assists. I'm going to have to give some serious thought to starting him more than I have been. And here is our youth intake. So we've got a couple of good-looking players. Uh, Emil Ronkers, Peter Schenning, both are attacking wingers. Uh, Amin El Hashimi, a striker. And Rossi. Didn't we have a goalkeeper, it said? Maybe I imagined that. I thought it said we had a really good goalkeeper. I guess that was a false advertisement. Because he doesn't look too great. All right, let's take a look. Ronkers, right-footed, 5'8", very good passing, pace, acceleration, dribbling. Needs to work on his crossing, but he's only 15. Peter Schenning, 15 years old, right-footed, attacking winger and striker. Probably going to try to retrain him as a striker, uh, just because I don't play a tactic with that attacking winger right now. 
I've got a tactic that 424 that we played a couple of years ago that I like, and we could use him up there. But again, I've got a lot of wingers right now. But, you know, he's got several years. We might need him down the road. Of course, we have El Hashimi here. Very good pace acceleration. Already a decent finisher. Just kind of needs to work on his mentals as he develops and matures. So we'll sign a handful of these guys, probably Rossi as well. Uh, he is a left side player, which, you know, we haven't had a really breakout player over there yet. And he doesn't look horrible. He could be challenging uh, on that side for some playing time in a couple of years. But anyway, there's your look at our uh, youth intake. All right, we're going to sign these five players. The goalkeeper uh, is the best prospect, so I think we have to keep him. Probably just trade bait, sail bait down the road, but never know. But we do sign the other uh, attacking players that have some really good upside. Well, evidently this guy um, hmm, supposedly has a good relationship with me, but he said I was overrated. Uh, I'm going to decline comment. I'm going to take the high road here. Well, Heronveen won their match 5-0. So we were in a must-win situation. But we found ourselves on the back foot from the get-go. They got a cross right into the box. Two players on two defenders, and they put that in in the fifth minute, making it 1-0. We were unable to crack them. In the 50th minute, they get another ball through. Vega pounces on a ball that was tapped past the keeper and just tips it in. And in the 83rd minute, attacking again. The cross to the back post. Profit could not keep De Bruyne from getting the header in and 3-0. We were dominated. Seven shots, none on target. And PSV really crushes us. I think that's going to really take care of any shot that we had uh, for qualifying. FC20 had been on a good run there. They uh, are, were up into third at one point. We're now four back with six left to play. So, again, it's not over, but whenever they clinch, we'll, that's where we'll stop. So, let's get to the next match, play it out, check out the highlights, and see if we can somehow keep our title hopes alive. Well, we needed three points massively today. Aaron Veen could win the league if we don't get it done. Vicario got the start today. He found Resnick. And in the 20th minute, we took a 1-0 lead, and that made me feel good. I won't tell you guys the score of the Heronveen game until afterwards. Vicario takes the pass. He breaks into the box and slots it home with a fine finish, and that was huge. It was really great to see him scoring. And then a set piece by Momsilovic goes back post, and it was put in there by Vanderhorst. They had a player sent off in the 75th minute. We're playing a man down, but we had scored goals earlier. Again, you take a look at the shots. They outplayed us, but we got the win, and that was great. Kaisela going to be uh, triggering a clause. Vicario impresses. One goal, one assist, and five headers won. Got to like that. I'm going to put my arm around and tell him he was great. Try to keep his morale up. Now, unfortunately, Heronveen drew their match. Now, Sparta did us a big favor. Our senior affiliate, remember, did us a favor. They drew. That was huge. They dropped two points. So we're back within two with one match to play. I'm not going to play the match out just because I don't want the video to go extra long. But if we take a look, Heronveen finishes off with Groningen. They have not lost a match since the Dutch Cup quarterfinal to Ajax. They've just been in great form. We've been in really strong form, but we do have a couple of league losses down the stretch, Feyenoord and PSV. That has cost us, and I think we've let it slip away from us here right at the finish line. Uh, we do finish up with Fortuna Sittard. Let's go see what happens. So here we are, the final day of the season. Heronveen, two points ahead of us in the table. 
we've already qualified for Champions League. We've won the Dutch Cup. First time even appearing in the Dutch Cup in the club's 103-year history. Heronveen is playing at home against Groningen, 15th in the table. We're playing at home against Fortuna Sittard, who are 13th in the table. Because we could win the league if they lose and we win, long shot, I'm going to go ahead and play this one out. So we, if we do win, then we have the podium presentation. Let's get to it. We're going with Kaiser and goal, a back three of Gerver, Kurdov, and Dimitrovic. Cervenka, Momsilovic, Grutunk, and DeVos back from injury on the midfield. Vandehorst in the number 10. Kernjik is also back, although he does have a fitness concern. 75 minutes of action is recommended. Hopefully he can put two or three goals in in that 75 minutes. And we'll be happy as long as we don't give up four or five goals in the 75 minutes, right? Oh, let's see. Um, all the best. Have fun. In front of the home crowd, we need help. A lot of help. I don't think we're going to get it. All right, Heronveen and Grown again are right there. Oh, just knocked away by Kaiser. I don't know if somebody got a little tip on that, but he did not look comfortable going for that ball. Inslinger. He makes the save there. Let's encourage the team. Give him that early shout. Aaron Bean still on a nil-nil draw, as are we. And we get our first shot in around the 21st minute. Cervenka tracks that one down and loses it. Oh, that's horrible. But the defense scrambles. Oh, tackled hard. And now they're right back on the attack. Oh, Gerver misses the ball. And it's squared in. Empty netter for Brands. Kaiser was caught between two players. Oh, we have got to demand more right out of the gate. That is not good. Not good at all. Aaron Veen still on a draw. Come on. DeVos with the throw. Nobody there. He's back on it. Into Grutunk. Oh, what a ball into DeVos. And he takes two touches. Ninth goal of the season. And there's the equalizer for us. Oh, okay, that keeps us alive. Great move by DeVos. Heronveen has gotten a goal from Stam and has taken a 1-0 lead. So that crushes us there. We have no shot if they win. They've got to lose or draw while we win. And he, Well, actually, we need them to lose because a draw could put us even on points. And then we need goal differential. And I don't think we have that anymore because they've had a couple of big wins. I, I remember a 5-0, a 6-0. DeVos looks dangerous getting it back into the box. Oh, and it's 1-1 at the break. Pressing intensity. It's the same pressing intensity we've asked all season. Um, let's point the finger. Not happy. Motivate them. Aaron Bean still holding that 1-0 advantage. Let's encourage him. A bruised chin for DeVos. Come on, boys. Aaron Bean still on a 1-0 advantage. All right, we're going to go to our bench. Momsilovich, a little tired. Let's go ahead and pull him off. For, I'm going to bring on Jazvich for him. And then Cervenka for Profit. Kernjik's playing okay, but just a 6-4. We're just not getting much in the way of chances here, are we? Let's demand more, and we're going to go attacking. I mean, we've got to go for it. We're chasing. DeVos clears it out, doesn't go very far, but allows us to reset our defense. Well, that's a nice ball over the top. Profit's caught out of position. 
forces it back again. There's a crack. Oh, it's saved, but off the woodwork, and it falls right to Meyer, and he sends Fortuna Satarda 2 0. Little unlucky there. Jazvich is already tired? What the hell? All right, he must have taken a knock. He's better now. DeVos. Nobody there. Grutunk. There's DeVos cutting inside. There's a shot. It's Resnick, his 15th of the season. There's an equalizer. We have got to keep pushing here. Keep pushing. Uh, I am going to sub out. Vandehorst is struggling. Who do I have that can play there? I'm going to bring Vicario, move Vicario up top, drop Resnick back to the number 10. That's kind of where we played him last year in the beginning of the season. Fresh legs in the striker position. I have not seen the Heronveen score lately. There's Jazvich. I would love to see some assist work from him here. Over the top, it's DeVos, and he nutmegs the keeper, and it's 3-2. They're looking for an offsides. The referee is running over. I think we're going to lose this goal. I think we're going to lose this goal. Oh, that's going to be brutal. Damn it. Oh, that was so unlucky. Come on, we're attacking five minutes. Hold on, let's pause it. Heronveen is losing. Oh my God, I don't want to go very attacking because I think that just screws it up. I never see anybody have success with very attacking. Oh God, I don't know. I don't what. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. I've made all the subs. I don't want to waste any time. Two minutes. It's headed away. All the way back to their keeper. Oh, beautiful ball by the keeper. Drop in pass. Oh, they are just killing us with the ball movement here. And he's unmarked. What a save. Get on it. Cleared out. You had time. You had time. We can't afford that stoppage. Oh, man. Heronveen loses. We draw, and we're going to be one point behind, I think. Fortuna Sitard had the better game, the better chances. Oh, that was horrible. Um... Disappointed we couldn't seal the title. One lousy point. I cannot believe Groningen got a 90-second minute goal stoppage time, and we let that get away. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken, and I know I shouldn't be. I know I shouldn't be. Because we had a great season. Right? We had a great season. We get 13 and a half million. We challenged for the league title. That was Gerver's 100th league appearance for the club. Heronveen wins the title with the loss. Oh, I am just gut-wrenched here. The winnings put us up to 46.9 million. So we would have been about 200000 in the hole. So we're right about maxed out at payroll. I don't think there's a lot more we can do there. And I think, well, 22... I think 22,445 is our max attendance. Yeah, 22,445. So we're selling it out. It's not 100%. Uh, you know what? I'm going to ask the club for improved youth facilities. Let's see what they tell us. They rejected it. So they want us to... All right, well, if this was the, if this was the Bielsa journeyman save, 
I would walk away from the club right now. That would be enough to uh, walk away from the club. But this is not that save. Oh, goodness, guys. It's like I don't want to end the video because we had a shot. We had a shot. Oh, we let it get away. We let it get away. They played so well this year. So well. All right, well, next episode will be the uh, season review and transfer window. Uh, we're probably going to have to make some moves. Gerver, of course, is wanting to leave. I have promised to sell him, but they need to match his release fee. And Thomas Muller wants to become a starter when Kernjik leaves. Uh, if I have my way, Kernjik's not going anywhere. Uh, so, anyway. Hit the like button for me, guys. Oh, my God. I am, I'm, I'm just gutted. I have a pain right here. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. I do have daily football manager content with the two saves Monday through Saturday. So I appreciate you guys checking it out. And we'll see you guys next episode for the transfer special and end of season review. We'll have some good memories to look back on, if nothing else. Take care. Bye.